Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchett. And I'm Kendra Nichols. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, fire companies across the mid-state are sending a warning to people asking them to be on the lookout for scammers. The scammers are sending text messages on how you can buy t-shirts from first responders when in reality those funds will go into the scammers' pockets. Jeremiah Marshall joins us in the studio with more. Jeremiah. Yeah, Kendra, Valerie, this is not just affecting one fire company. Reports are coming from Dover, Springersbury, to even here in Harrisburg. Firefighters say we all need to be vigilant so we won't fall victim. Battalion Chief Matthew Arnold with York Area United Fire and Rescue says his wife received a message that shocked them both. So she showed it to me right away and said, hey, are you guys selling shirts that I'm not aware of? And I said no. And within 20 minutes, I got five or six other people from the community reach out to me through social media asking if these shirts were legitimate. Scammers will send a text message in the name of a local fire company offering 10 bucks off t-shirts if you just click the link they attach. Chief Arnold says that link is a trap. That scammer now has access to your bank information and most likely in addition to you not getting a shirt, you're going to have $10 and most likely a lot more than that taken out of your bank account and it's going to be very hard to get it back. And normally these kind of scams follow some sort of trigger event. Firefighters are already facing several challenges, which include staffing shortages. Legit fundraisers can help with meeting some of their needs and many folks in the community want to help. It could be COVID equipment to keep their people safe. Um, but again, it all goes back to the public. We're, we're trying to keep the public safe. And if somebody's getting in the middle and, and taking money that's not intended for them, um, you know, that, that, that's awful. They should be ashamed of themselves. The best thing to do is to verify the source. So it's getting easier for people to pull off scams uh, in that fashion. And look, and easier to make yourself look more legitimate. And Chief Arnold also says scam texts may include a phone number. The best thing to do, don't call. Look up the fire department's real number and call that instead. In studio, Jeremiah Marshall, ABC 27 News.